हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सो टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज ऑफ स्टॉपलर इन दिस वीडियो आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टेक्निक ऑफ डूइंग ऑफ स्टॉपलर बट वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग द इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ ऑफ स्टॉपलर वे फॉर्म्स ओके विद दिस लेस जस्ट बिगिन ओके सो द वेरी फर्स्ट थिंग uh once you get the op stopler waveforms in your hand the very first thing you should do you should check the waveforms morphology is there any abnormality in the morphology of the waveforms okay like i am showing you the examples this is the waveform of mca this is the mca doppler pattern mca doppler pattern for mca you should look for the psv this is the peak systolic velocity and you should look for the end diastolic flow is there any raised psv or is there raised end diastolic flow both of these things are abnormal because increased psv we get in fetal anemia and increased end diastolic flow we get in fetal iugr when there is brain sparing effect usually the mca is a high resistance artery so the end diastolic flow is very less but once there is iugr and brain gets less blood there is brain sparing effect and the mca dilates so the end diastolic flow increases so the two abnormalities usually we should look on the waveform is the raised psv and the raised end diastolic flow next in line is the umbilical artery you should check for the waveform of umbilical artery for the end diastolic flow is there any reduced umbilical artery flow or this is absent or there is reversal of the umbilical artery okay so uh, you should look for these abnormalities in the end diastolic flow of the umbilical artery and next for the uterine arteries like the left and the right umbilical artery and the right umbilical artery you should look for the end diastolic flow is there any reduced end diastolic flow is there any reduced end diastolic flow and you should look for the early diastolic notching both these things are abnormal so we just learned that seeing the waveforms just waveforms we can detect is there any abnormality like for the mca the raised psv and the raised end diastolic flow for the umbilical artery reduced or absent or reversed end diastolic flow and for the uterine artery reduced end diastolic flow or early diastolic notching are abnormal once you have understood the morphology of these waveforms is there any abnormality in these waveforms you should look for the sd ratio okay next in line is the sd ratio so normally the sd ratio of mca is greater than the umbilical artery sd ratio why because sd ratio is psv upon end diastolic velocity and the mca has decreased uh, less end diastolic flow because this is a high resistance so the sd ratio of mca is usually greater okay in this example also we can see the sd ratio of mca is 6.3 while the sd ratio of umbilical artery is 2.3 so the sd ratio of mca is greater than the sd ratio of umbilical artery this is absolutely normal because mc is a high resistance artery or uh, to understand this better i um, suppose you should look at my previous video of mca doppler and pregnancy and doppler which discusses the umbilical and uterine artery dopplers okay now uh, we understood the sd ratio concept next in line is the cpr that is the cerebro placental ratio cerebro means mca and the placental means the umbilical artery so cpr is the ratio of mca pi upon the umbilical artery pi so here is the pi value here is the pi value 1.84 and the pi value of umbilical artery is 0.80 so the pi ratio of mca upon umbilical artery should be greater than 1 in this case also this is greater than 1 so the cpr ratio is more than 1 and this is absolutely normal okay uh, we have understood the overall picture like seeing the waveforms 
and the ST ratio and the CPR ratio. Now uh, just look at the individual waveforms now. Okay, so uh, the very first waveform you should look is the umbilical artery waveform. Okay, so this is the umbilical artery waveform. Uh, we have already discussed you should look for the end diastolic flow is there any reduced or absent or reversal of this end diastolic flow and the pi value this pi value of the umbilical artery should be between 5th to 95th percentile okay this is normal if the pi is more than 95th percentile this is absolutely normal this is absolutely abnormal okay the normal is 5th to 95th percentile for example uh, this pi value should be between 5th to 95th if it is more than 95th it is abnormal for example this is the graph where you should plot this value okay so see this here we are talking about the 34 week of gestation so this is the 34 week and the pi value here is 0.8 so the pi value here is 0.8 okay so approx here is slightly abnormal but definitely it is not more than this 95th percentile okay here this is not more than here we not we are not getting this graph here so this is <clears throat> so this is actually normal this is not more than 95th it is if if it uh, if we plot it here then it is absolutely normal okay so we learned for umbilical artery you should look for the endosteli flow is there any reduced absent or reversal or if the pi value is more than 95 these are absolutely abnormal next uh, you should look for the mc artery okay so uh, you should look for the psv on the umbilical artery this psv and you should look for the pi value okay so uh, let's just plot this here as well if the pi value is less than fifth percentile it is abnormal here the pi is 1.84 let's just plot this so here is the 34 weeks and the pi value is 1.84 1.84 approximately something like here so it is falling in the range of between 5th to 95th percentile this is absolutely normal if it falls here that is below 5th percentile this is abnormal okay and uh, the PSV increased PSV is abnormal because this happens in fetal anemia and uh, so uh, we can plot this or assess this by uh, these charts as well uh, if the psv is more than 1.5 multiples of medians it is abnormal like here in this we got the psv of 50.1 gestational age is 34 weeks so for 34 weeks the value if it is more than 1.5 mom then it is abnormal here 1.5 mom is 73.1 but the value we are getting is 50 so this is absolutely normal this is not more than 1.5 multiples of median so we cannot call it abnormal okay uh, the very first thing you should look for the umbilical artery if there is any abnormality in the umbilical artery pattern which suggests iurgia then you should look for the mca pattern to look for the brain sparing effect if it is there or not okay so we have discussed the umbilical artery to look for the end diastolic flow and the pi plotting we also have looked at the mca pattern to plot the pi value and plot the psv value next is the uterine artery for the uterine artery also you should look for the pi value for the pi value and the end diastolic flow is there any absent or reduced end diastolic flow or there is early diastolic notching these are abnormal in the uterine arteries and you should also plot the pi value usually it should fall between the fifth and 95th percentile if it is more than 95th percentile it is 
abnormal so the pi we are getting is 0.58 and the gestational age we are talking is 34 so uh, something here so the value here we get is uh, 0.58 so it falls somewhere uh, here this is absolutely normal between the 95th and the 5th percentile we are not getting this point anywhere here so this is absolutely normal and the last thing uh, we should look is the cerebroplacental ratio it is usually taken till 34 weeks normally the ratio should be more than one and if it is less than one or less than fifth percentile this is absolutely abnormal like uh, uh, just calculate in this case the pi value is 1.84 and the pi of uterine artery is 0 0.80 so this is more than one okay and if we plot this there is a graph for cpr as well and this is the 95th this is the fifth percentile and if you get this value here this is absolutely abnormal okay and this is also where you can plot this thing uh, so um, summarizing this i guess and also there are uh, online uh, websites where you can just put these values and the software will give you uh, the thing that whether it is normal or abnormal okay so there is online charting of these values i hope i made this topic easy uh, i am just summarizing this for you once again First of all, uh, you should look at the waveforms. Is there any morphological deformity in the waveform? The next thing is the SD ratio and the, of MCA and the umbilical artery. And third is the CPR. Once you have um, just saw these three things, just look at the individual waveforms of umbilical artery, the diastolic and diastolic flow and the PI plotting, then the umbilical, then the MCA artery to look for the PSV plotting and the PI plotting and finally the uterine artery to look for the end diastolic flow or the notching and the PI plotting. Also, you should look for the CPR ratio till 34 weeks of gestation and uh, finally you can interpret these values by plotting these on graphs the system automatically puts these things for you or else you can uh, see these things on uh, online websites okay uh, so i hope i have made this easy for you uh, please subscribe your channel thank you